Today, I want to talk about how to grow the African-American middle class and to provide a new deal for black America. That deal is grounded in three promises, safe communities, great education, and high paying jobs. The African American community has been let down by our politicians. They talk good around election time, like right now. And after the election, they said, see you later, I'll see you in four years. You know that white supremacy and white nationalism is nowhere near, ranks nowhere near the top of the issues that are facing black America. 83% of black teen males the last eight years have been unemployed. State of California, 70, 75% of our black boys can now pass standard reading and writing tests. A democratic state. Seventy percent of black men that desert their families. Black on black crime is through the roof. And you're having three Caucasian people testify and tell you what their expertise are. Do you want to know what my expertise are? Black in America. My vision rests on a principle that has defined this campaign right from the beginning. And you've seen where we've come from and where we are right now. I'm asking for the vote of every single African-American citizen in this country who wants to see a better future. And something I'm very proud of, African-American unemployment stands at the lowest rate ever recorded. People change. I used to be a Democrat until I did my history and found out the, the misery that that party brought to my race. The Congressional Communist Black Caucus that has every district they own and control is a ghetto hellhole. It's a place that no one wants to go to. They're in control of every inner city school system, every inner city police, every inner city jail. They have produced nothing but drugs and misery. Black owned businesses, black owned housing has been reduced. They have presided over the destruction of black people. They should be ashamed of themselves. And I don't understand why any black person could be a Democrat. Illegal immigration violates the civil rights of African Americans. When my people do a crime, we get this right. Your people do a crime, they get amnesty. President Trump signed the First Step Act. America first.